system here now. Uh, the root tragedy would be angle one. So obviously you guys are known that this, one more time, is supposed to is, you know, make, make my hits and my passes. Okay, just like that. Okay, we're going to take everything onto the stick just for the training portion today. So very easy, very basic. I'm going to make my boom thing and I'm going to hit that. Okay? And now Chat is just going to be giving me a target. He's not recovering. It's not like he's recovering and blocking this line. This would be up just like that in that nice shot line. Okay? What I want you to try to do is on the recovery, either recover and get feet and have the dagger at the top or the stick at the top. Okay? So either this way or this way, just like that. Make sense, guys? So sure. actually getting the habit of seeing the other hand come into play. Okay? That's a little bit of training for the feeder in this case. It's still the one be doing the work. So we're going to do a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two upper cut lines, and twelve. Make sense, guys? Sure. Sure. Really quick, guys. 1 through 12, okay? If you've been here for more than two years, which is pretty much everyone, who are the apprentice instructors in the room? Okay, cool. All right, so what you guys are going to do is go random numbers, okay? You know, just going 1, 1, okay? Start with your angle 1, and random now. So you go 1 here, two back. You have something that's coming away from the counter. Just like that. Make sense, guys? Sure. sure. Okay, guys. So now, Peter is going to throw forehand in the back end. Really easy. So from here, you go one, and tap, and two, and tap. Now, forehand back end is going to serve two thrusts. So now I'm going to start looking at this as coming from the palm down thrust, and then a palm, palm up thrust. Okay? So what we're going to look at dealing with this is we need to get get motion. Now B scenarios, the first seven are are what guys? Are they where are my Francis? Are they moving or are they stationary sir? No that one? Defando. Yes, defando, okay. Stationary, okay. Where you're, you're here, you're anchored position and just getting body motion on doing it. Okay. Moving on, remember the rest of them? Juan? Okay. Advancing trees, so it goes into motion. Okay. Now we don't have the. Uh, well, it's good. We have a big camp. We don't have the confines to do a lot of motion. We start to do some circling stuff. Ideally, every time we're doing, we're doing these lines here. One, we're moving and we're coming around his byline for everything. Okay. We're not going to be staying in the pocket, which basically this is. I mean, we're staying in the pocket here, like right here. Um. It's like yeah. Okay. We can have equal killing. I don't know what this means. Well, one more time. Huh? Spinning around because I didn't no, catch okay, it. They, they see my buttons yeah. Yeah. So we want to just get used to, to moving. Okay. So from here is our one, two, tap, like this. Now we need to go with this dagger thrust. So now we have tap, 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 tap. Okay, of course this, you guys are looking at it, it bones and cuts my lines here. Wow. And my lines. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that to our partner. Okay. But we are going to be moving, and as best as you can in this, getting those tap blocks, so just like that. Okay? That doesn't have to be fast. Okay. But try to get that sharp shooting effect going on right there. Okay. This is sound of Chad, train blade, Chad, train blade. Just like that. Okay. So, one more time. Do this palm down. And come up, up. See, that's when you complete my circle, my motion line. Make sense, guys? Yes, sir. So it's going to go backhand, points forehand, backhand, dagger thrust, palm down, dagger thrust, palm up. So we have one, two, and then we reset. Make sense, guys? Yes, sir. If you guys have been apprentice twos and threes, which are a couple, who's a prince to? Level two? Level two? Okay. Trick question. Prince level three. OK. 
Okay, good. All right. You guys can do the full location. Okay, which means pop them on the stage. Make sense, guys? Can I press all threes? Okay. Sir. Okay, everyone else. You can keep it. Right there, just the two side steps. Does that make sense, guys? Sir. You can still feed it out of order. It doesn't have to be one and two. It could be three and four, one and four, one and twelve, one and six. Just forehand and backhand. Does that make sense, guys? Sure, sir. Any repeats? Alright, guys. One side's feeding the whole time. Yeah. I'll switch you guys over. Ready, guys? And then you bring it from a stick and dagger. Point of view because the first thing that we're going to be working on is these kind of captures, which we've all been here long enough to realize that this is not a bladed capture. Does that make sense? Sure. Okay. So, that saying, you say again, stick and dagger. Okay. So now, from here, what we want to do is we talked about briefly before, I'm not going to stay in the pocket as I make this. So now, I can kind of here, one, I can set my thrust in. My thrust can go. The arm can be towards the bicep, center line, wherever it's going to be. Every instructor is going to teach you differently. You're in a sano, uh, for his own morality, actually, everything from uh, bicep lines. Okay? But his morality might not be yours. You can do your sound line thrusts, et cetera, so forth. Yeah. What I do want to see now going is one, if you do this, you are sectoring this way. Okay? Why? Because as this is coming here, this is a quick line. Right. Does that make sense? Okay. That's then becomes a game of the game of speed and the games of you know direction of gap. So we're gonna extend that time, we're gonna buy time with your foot, okay, footwork and seconds so that we said at the beginning of the second. This is here, one, and I'm coming on this line here. Now, he's gonna be thrusting on this line. There's nothing on the high line that's around. So you come and make these thrusts here. You're trying to drop this to this line right here. I'm going to hit this and make my thrust, and this is going to be my first position right there. Can, sense, yes? Can you do that with the other angle, please? Okay, again, we're all familiar with a couple of these. We're all familiar with uh, snake kiss arms. Make sense, guys? Okay. We're all familiar with right. different release this arms, yeah. as well as different arm levels. Make sense, guys? So we're going to be working that a lot. We now we want to be constant. I want you guys to go slow. Because sometimes the best way to disarm someone is give them two weapons. So this stuff can, don't let this happen to you. Does that make sense, guys? Sure. So start looking about having your arms not interfere with one another, okay? For the beginners who have never even seen a weapon system like this before, try to remember what we're saying. For those of you guys who have been here a long time, work on not having your left hand kill you. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. So let's go on this side chart. This side chart. So as we're here, one, whatever my, my line, my bicep cut, my face starts here, one, I'm coming up and coming on this line here. He thrusts low. I drop my bridge. Now this, as Bruno Sal says, this should do something. Make my keep it here. Strip this way. This is my this is my body line. Right there. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Any questions? Again? And this design will better for you? Okay. So we're here. I'm coming up this way. Raising that gate up. Making that thrust here. I'm on this line. Make this strip off. And there. Make sense, guys? Alright, guys. Let's make that happen, guys. We're going to go back and forth. We need you guys two minutes to go back.